In 2020, Nueces County had big plans for a dog park at Hazel Baysmore Park. Well, over a year later, work has stopped. The question is why? And tonight, our Javier Guerra takes a deeper look at where the park stands and what the concerns are. Javi. Katia, people here in Cal Allen were excited for this dog park, but now cost compared to quality is raising concerns. Tonight, we take an in-depth look at what those costs are and why some concerns are being raised by one Oasis County Commissioner. I'm not satisfied with the with a job. It's, it stands right now. The plans call for a state-of-the-art dog park in Precinct 1. Nueces County Commissioner for that precinct, Robert Hernandez, says the project, under construction by ABM Industries, was approved before he took office. And my major concern is the, the payments they're asking me to pay, they're $141,000. Hernandez says the complete price tag is excessive for the size and quality of the park. As he received invoices for the project, he brought his concerns to the county engineer and other commissioners. And then the total amount of the project, is, it's, I believe it's going to be about $418,000. And I just don't think uh, a project this size is worth that much. I'm not... Uh, I'm not an estimator. Among the primary issue, Hernandez says the construction is not ADA compliant. Additionally, he says subcontractor Wheaton Engineering was working without an ABM inspector on site. This is where it stands now. The way, the way you see it now, nobody has really come out to inspect, see if the work has been done up to code. At an April commissioner's court meeting, Ron Wheaton with Wheaton Engineering told commissioners the dog park was ADA compliant, saying ADA requirements are access to the drinking fountain, wastebasket, and dog disposal. Wheaton Engineering was awarded a $47,000 contract for engineering and design services. It had an extensive uh, amount of accessibility area that exceeded and what that requirement was. And all that was, was checked for ADA? But County Engineer Juan Pimentel disagreed, noting a topographical survey completed by his staff of the curb. So in other words, it doesn't meet AD. You have more than 2% cross slope on the surface, so that's a big no-no. We reached out to Wheaton Engineering and they said they had no comment. We also made repeated attempts to contact ABM and they have not returned calls or emails. Now, Hernandez also says that the playground and dog park are in such close proximity. He's worried that dogs could get out of the dog park and also bite a child. Now, he also says that all he wants is for this dog park to be up to code. For now, that's all. Javier Guerra, Chris 6 News, back to you. Okay, Javier, thank you so much.